the second in a series of emerging artists exhibitions. We are here at Emerge 2, Melvin Van Peebles and Artists on the Cusp. I am so excited to do this second show with Solio, who is one of the most hottest, exciting young uh, gallery, um, uh, not gallerist, but he is one of the most exciting um, curators that's out right now. And if you ever hear that he is curating an exhibition, you know immediately that it is on the cutting edge. It's the best that the artists have to offer. And he will definitely show you work that you must see and must enjoy. My name is Laura R. Gadsden. I'm a quilt, fiber, and textile artist here in Harlem. Uh, I am part of the Emerge 2.0, Melvin Van Peebles, an artist on the cusp. Uh, this is my work behind me. Uh, it's part of a series. And uh, you can see you know, some of the quilt work that uh, I've been doing. I do it both for wearable, and I also do it as an art form. First of all, the theme of this is just the music that I'm that I came of age with, which was disco that moved into hip hop. And this piece is called "Loving Is Really My Game." It's from the the brainstorm song of the same name. And uh, the whole series has to do with music that was just really a part of my youthful life uh, as I became a young woman, and and how love and life all corresponds on the dance floor. And I. And I was just also wanted to say that um, as I looked around, it looks like uh, I am the last generation of folks that really socialize and meet and greet through dance. I don't know that the generations after us are really have, is the dance as big a part of the social stream between men and women. Textile art, yes. Uh, I've been a quilter since 2000. I've been an artist all of my life, but I've just taken on this medium because it was able to mold together uh, my love of fiber and fabric and also my ability to uh, draw and paint on fabric. So uh, I'm known for my portraits that I do and, um, and now just taking it on a whole nother a level, uh, making series of things that are near and dear to my heart. My name is Clara K. Johnson. Uh, my artwork is basically biomorphic abstract. I use a lot of textures, a lot of layers. This particular piece has juxtaposed line drawing. Um, there's paper in there. There's just layers of paint. Um, I like to depict movement, natural elements of nature. Um, just beauty that you find every day. Well, actually, I'm self-trained. My grandfather was an artist. He was a painter a voiceover, a cartoonist, um, he's a photographer. He did the mascot for Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina. Very talented. That was in 1917 that my grandfather did the mascot for Johnson C. Smith University, a black man. My grandfather was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, he went to college at Johnson C. Smith University. Um, there's a lot going on for black artists in Houston. I don't particularly travel in those circles. I mean, I meet them from here, there, and different different functions, but there, Houston is a huge, huge, huge magnet, huge hub for art. I don't care what kind of art, they love it. Houston loves art. I just thank God. I just thank God for the ability. I'm so trained, so it's nobody but him who gave me this gift. I didn't learn, I didn't go, don't have letters, no MFA, no BFA, I'm just... Um, A soul sister being moved by the spirit. <laughs> yes, I'm just expressing my soul, exactly. Sure, www.clarakjohnson.com or www.clarafications.com, and that's C-L-A-R-A Fications. Hi, I'm artist Greg Frederick. Uh, I specialize in vinyl pop art, portraits made out of vinyl records, and I'm one of the artists here with Melvin Matt Peoples, an artist on the cusp. And here is one of my pick 
one of my pictures. The background is as a photographer, and I was trying to market myself and trying to get into some art shows, and I thought beyond doing just prints, I should do something a little extra special, so I started printing my photos to canvas, and then uh, montaging things on top of that, uh, including glitter, vinyl records, and random things, and ended up, uh, long story short, taking away everything else, just leaving the vinyl records. This is my piece, Michael Jackson, made out of his vinyl records, non-playable, and CDs. Um, you can see his glove is made out of the CDs. I try to represent how the music industry sort of uh, tore down and broke down Michael Jackson and constantly rebuilt him up. Uh, so this is my representation of his life. Can you elaborate on um, the importance of you being here? Well, that's the idea. That's the importance. This is a, this is a shot, but I think should have to be this. We, we got to respect ourselves and show what we can do. It's essential. That's why I'm here. So, um, like a lot of us didn't know that you were an artist. When, you know, how long back did you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to start being an artist on a professional level? I was 11. I've won scholarship in painting all over the world. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And, and sculpture, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Yes. Hi, this is Marva Allen. I'm here at the uh, Strivers Row Gallery with the art exhibit for Emerge 2.0 with Melvin Van Peebles as the anchor artist. It's been a wonderful night, lots of people. And of course, I'm here because there are books, Melvin Van Peebles books, um, that were sold tonight here at the event. So come on down while it's here. It's really very, very exciting.